Hey everyone, this is Scott from the Forgot to Grow Podcast. Welcome to another edition of Rewatching a Series of Unfortunate Events. Today I'm talking about Season 2, Episode 10, The Carnivorous Carnival, Part 2. The final episode in the second season. I just finished rewatching this episode, and this is one of my favorite episodes because we get so much just stuff happening. We get the, like, we start to get answers, and then we get a cliffhanger ending, which... I both hate and love at the same time. I love because I'm just like, oh, I need to. Oh, I'm excited to get to those answers, but I hate it because I'm also like, I need those answers. Um, but yeah, I still really enjoyed this episode. We have the bowl layer still, you know, trying to work with. Um, I learned her name is Olivia. That's the librarian who's pretending to be Madame Lulu. And they try to, like, turn a roll coaster card into a getaway vehicle, which was unsuccessful, which to me, I was just like, don't you need tracks for that to work? How are you going to drive that to the mountains? But that's not the hero there because Madame Lulu ended up getting eaten by lions. And I was like, mm, oh, poor librarian. Very, very tragic ending. And again, the Baudelaire's are left out on, you know, their own and stuff to get taken by Olaf and then Olaf. Oh, just so much happens. And I just really enjoy this episode because of that. And obviously, we get this cliffhanger setting us up for next season. They're going to finally get all the answers uh, but yeah some of the stuff I really like about this one is that we see that the previous Madame Lo, uh, Lulu was the person who had grabbed the sugar bowl from the hospital in the you know, last or a couple episodes ago so that's an interesting fact we see her at the very end of the episode it's kind of implied that she might be Beatrice if I'm not mistaken I think I'm putting those pieces, pieces together correctly but we'll have to get to the next season to find out for sure um, some of the things that were kind of interesting about this, on the map they had the Valley of Four Drafts, which was VFD. It's a cool little thing when they're looking for the map with the hiding place, that being the mountain uh, headquarters of the uh, VFD, or the VFD's headquarters in the mountains, uh, where we had seen uh, the flashback in the last episode taking place. That's where the Masquerade Ball had. We also find out in this episode that, you know, Olaf clearly had uh, clearly seems to have failed, or he says he failed to push a woman off of the um, off a balcony there, failed to kill somebody there because who knew those dragonfly wings would work? So I'm just like, oh, that was Beatrice. Beatrice is still hanging around. I think that lady's Beatrice. Beatrice is still kicked. We'll have to get to the next season to be for sure. So no one spoiled that in the comments for me. I do want to discover that little secret on my own. Uh, but yeah, there was some other fun stuff uh, in this episode. Uh, what do I have written down? Uh, oh, the audience of the circus. We see Mr. Poe. We see the teachers from uh, earlier in the season from the academy or from prep, prep, whatever the preparatory school was. Um, proof opera? I can't remember that now. But yeah, the school. Then we see also the council of uh, VFD, the elders, the elders of VFD that is there hanging out in the audience. So I thought that was a cool little thing to wrap up the season, having them all show up. Poe was obviously there. Still, again, doesn't recognize anybody, even though Olaf's like, yes, I'm Count Olaf, but not the Count Olaf you know about, even though I look exactly the same. We both are handsome and common. And I was just like, oh, Poe, but it's just part of the way this universe is. I just, I love it, and it's just all great. Um, but what else do I have written down? Uh, failed to kill Beatrice. Well, there's have to burn Olivia's stuff at the end. Oh, I wrote down in the BMX Paperboy. I haven't mentioned him before, but he's popped up pretty much in every episode, or at least every couple episodes. And I just think that's a fun little bit. You know, each time they, you know, start a new day, this guy shows up at the paper, even though you when they're on the, like, you know, penthouse floor of the apartment building at the beginning of the season to this being a little of a circus. I just thought that was a fun little last thing. Uh, but yeah, and then we get to the end. I already kind of mentioned it, but the cliffhanger ending where the Baudelaire's thought they were joining, you know, thought they'd been kind of forced to join Olaf's troop, but Olaf was just pretending to do that to get them in, you know, the the car, in the um, stage car behind them, which then then cut off, taking, and they keep Sunny with them. So Klaus and Violet look like they're in for some trouble. I know they've survived this. I'm just curious how, because, you know, clearly they survived this whole another season of stuff. I know there's at least four more books in the series. They didn't die at the end of this one, but I also didn't read past this one, so I don't know exactly how they survive or get out of it. So I'm really curious to get to the next season, figure out how they get out of this predicament of that they find themselves in and what happens from now on. Do they, is one of their parents alive? Are they? I don't know. I'm, I just need to know. 
So I'm just excited to get to the next season. So that brings me to the end of this video and the end of this season. Uh, thanks for joining me for these videos. Be sure to let me know in the comments below if you, there was anything between the books in this episode that I might have gotten wrong. How excited you are for the third season coming up. I'll be sure to make a video with my general thoughts after I watch the third season on the first. I'll probably, my, that video will probably be out on the second or third potentially. Uh, but yeah, thanks again for joining me today and have a good one.